But as a first order of business, talking about the process for joining NATO, it's actually a very kind of flexible process in many ways. For many years, Ukraine has been uh, focused on getting the so-called membership action plan, the map. But in actual fact, the map is not really necessary. We saw both Sweden and Finland rapidly uh, on the track to NATO membership. Finland now already in. Sweden is still working with Turkey on its demands because all NATO member states must agree to have a country enter into the alliance. But those two countries entered in with no map at all. So it's a very flexible process and I actually think it's rather clever in the run-up to this summit meeting that now the NATO member states are saying, well, let's just skip the map stage for Ukraine. And that is a very, to me, it's a very sharp and clear signal that Ukraine is on a fast track mm -hmm. to NATO membership. It's not going to have this map barrier placed in front of it. You know, Bosnia and Herzegovina has had a map for many, many years, but it has turned into more of a barrier for NATO membership. There's a number of other factors in Bosnia and Herzegovina, including the effort of the Respublika Srpska to split off from Bosnia and Herzegovina. But nevertheless, map in that case has, has been a bit of a stumbling block rather than an, an aid to rapid membership for that country. So I think that uh, actually the signals coming out of NATO are good with regard to Ukrainian membership in the alliance. Okay.